G'day guys, welcome to our gear guide in relation to uh, the recent trip we took to Mulwala chasing Murray Cod. While we were down at Lake Mulwala, we stayed in a fantastic holiday home called Brookwater. It's a beautiful double story home right on the edge of Lake Mulwala with a fantastic outlook. It's close to the ski club, close to the RSL. You can even moor your boat right at the water's edge there if you need to. Just a fantastic place to stay. We also want to say a quick thank you to the Hillis Motor Group for lending us a vehicle to tow the boats in and around my whaler to get us onto those Murray Cod. Now, I just want to discuss a bit more about the actual gear we used apart from the accommodation, uh, etc. And I guess one of the main lures we used were the spinner baits. Yep. Um, these spinner baits were supplied by Matty. Um, they're made by him in Wagga, a local lure, gangster spinner baits. Now, the basic premise of a spinner bait, and they come in hundreds of different shapes and sizes, is this big, these big blades basically spin around. These frog legs, a Z-Man frog, they thump through the water and just put on that much vibration and sound, the fish find it hard to resist. Fishermen have been using these for Murray Cod for many, many years, and uh, Matty really took it to a new level, just creating spinner baits that were a lot bigger and a lot stronger. You can see there's a, a double-bladed Colorado one there. Here's another a V-type design, you can see. And in this one, instead of a frog, he's got a big stretchy uh, plastic there. And even, you know, you get them up to these triple-bladed ones, yeah, so. They're in the water, they are like, they're like pulling in a fish. Yeah, <laughs> massive vibration. Bump, bump, bump. So you can see see why they use. So yeah, a fantastic lure to use the spinner baits. I caught two of my three cod. One was on an orange and black spinner bait with a frogger on it, and the other one was a pink and black one. So spinner baits for me work fantastic. The other lure um, that I caught one on was a little mud eye jointed happy, and this was uh, supplied by Sean from Mud Eye. And again, this is more a wake bait. It's not, not a paddler, but a wake bait and just simply swims through the water, leaves a weight. You can vary the depth a little. And again, just a really great surface presentation because it looks like a snake or a lizard or whatever going across the water. So that was a winner for me. Um, the reel I used was a 1.3 Concept C, uh, loaded up with about 30 pound braid. And I think I used about a 40 pound leader. And again, you know, we've used these many times for Barra. Great, con you know, Compact little reel, drags great, easy to adjust, and you know casting is just a real breeze with these what, things. What rod did you partner with your third? And the rod was the um, one three omen black. This is actually a custom model because I snapped the tip off it trying to get a spin of that out, <laughs> so I've replaced that. But again, um, I just find this a pleasure to cast with all day. We use it for the barra, for the Murray cod. Nice big guides for my fantastic knots to go through quite easily. So yeah, they were the standout for me. The one three gear, the spinner baits and the little jointed happy, plus that fantastic ACOM and um, the boats. We traveled around in Kizza, so what did you find? Uh, new gear, well I, I caught mine, um, one of mine on a green spinner bait. I caught other ones on the orange. I had hits on the hard bodies, but the thing that I really enjoyed this trip was actually this little contour camera. So some of the footage you would have seen of my strikes uh, were caught on this little guy and he, like, I love it because it just clips on a little thing like this and you just pop it, oh, run the way, pop it on your head and you're ready to go. Like I just put the hat backwards so that you don't have the brim in the shot, put it on, you've got a massive big slide up the top here and it's just like click, you're on. And uh, yeah, hit that little beep so you know it's on. I loved it because sometimes, you know, if you want to get the footage, it's hard to get those strikes. Like poor Danny spends ages film and cast up, but when you pull up to that spot and you just think, oh, I reckon there's a fair chance of getting a hit here, just click it on, and I reckon you've got a much better chance of getting a strike. In fact, I think this is one of the first trips that we've got multiple strikes on camera and it was just that I had that handy. Mm. And it's great, you know, even Big Red you hooked up, and uh, Danny was a little bit down the track or in the bush, so I just clicked the cam on. I love it, I reckon they're cool. I can't wait to take it out again. Yeah, well, most of the uh, fish that I caught, I caught on this um, orange spinnerbait with a frogger on it. One, like I said in the episode, I was a 
a little bit lazy to tie, to change. Um, but truth was that um, every time I thought about change, I had a bit of a hit or a bit of a knock. So yeah. you just don't want to pull it off. So um, that caught yellow belly and cod, a um, couple of nice fish. Um, I caught one um, on the My Fishing Post lure, which you can get on from our website. How many website. species have we caught well, on? Well, I think we're so up to about, oh, I'm not sure. I think it's over 15. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's a good, great, uh, great lure. Um, also, in the evening, I was using a, a similar pompadour to this, but in a bit darker colour, and I got a, a, a good surface cod on that. Trick with them is change your trebles, change your split rings. I lost a nice cod because literally straightened out that middle O ring on the. You yeah, if you have a look at that, ones I bought. they've actually been upgraded on there. Yeah, um, those hooks and. Uh, Rod and reel wise, again, with as per Lee, I used a Concept C, which um, I've used, I've used for both bar and cod many times. Load up with 30 pound braid. It's a great little reel, um, but I used it. Um, I tried this time. I went back to my um, G Loomis E6X, which I really like. It's nice and light, but super strong, and it just matches that reel really nicely. So uh, that's what I was fishing with most of the time down cod fishing. So big thanks to all our sponsors who supplied gear for this trip. Uh, contour cameras, 1-3 fishing, mud eye, gangster spinner baits, guys, we really appreciate it and use this gear, it's great gear for catching cod and we'll catch you next time.